Hi, my name is Shay, and uh, I'm going to give you a tutorial today on how to speed ramp with DaVinci Resolve. There are uh, several ways to do it. I'm going to show you the most common, typical way of doing it, and also an easy way of doing it. Uh, this is San Diego. This is La Jolla, California. And what we're going to do today is take this clip and speed ramp the middle part of it. So we're going to see the beginning part in slow motion. Then we'll speed up the clip towards the end and then see the end of it in slower motion. Okay, so uh, actually let me show you the finished product. Over here on the right we've got a clip that speeds up and then slows down again. It's a very nice, nice effect. So that's what a speed ramp is. It's fast forwarding in a very slow, aesthetically pleasing way which keeps our people from getting bored and also adds a kind of a special effect that's uh, visually stimulating to be sure. Okay, uh, let me just show you the, because uh, there's a sponsor to our video today, it's the Speed Ramper system. There's information in the comments below. Uh, let me show you how easy this can be because it just takes uh, one second to do. I'm gonna drag and drop a preset onto here. And one, two, three, four, five, trim off the dead space. And here is the finished product. And it just takes a couple of plays through, playthroughs to render out smoothly. And that's how, actually how I built this one, so I'll let you see that. So if you want to spend some money and do this the easy way, speedramper.com is the way to go. But let's get into the main tutorial. I'll delete that. And here we go, we've got a clip. How do we speed ramp using DaVinci Resolve? Let me go ahead and see if I can't maximize this a little bit so you can see it. And we'll turn off some extra stuff over here. All right, so what do we want? We, we want to go slowly in the beginning, then speed up, and then go slowly again. So here's what we do. We go to the point where we want to start the fast forwarding, and I'll say it's about right there and I'll right click on the clip. There are also uh, keyboard shortcuts you can use, but we'll do this so everybody can see. Retime controls is what you want. You click that, and then this opens up these little blue arrows which will show you that you are in that special mode. And down below there's a little box here, it says 100%, and that's what telling us this entire clip right now is playing along normally at 100%, but we wanna find a point where we can speed it up, and that's called a speed point. So click this little arrow next to the 100, click add speed point, and you will see if I move this playhead out of the way, that adds a little, a little line. Now the top little button there, the white button, allows you to change the speed, and the bottom of the button actually allows you to move the speed point to a new point if you uh, feel like you've made a mistake. So let's go ahead and go and find our place where we want to slow down, and we'll, we'll say about right here we're going to slow it down. And now I am going to click this button to add a second speed point. So now I have two speed points and I want to speed up this area in the middle. So what you can do is you grab the, uh, the little white air downward arrow and you drag that over. And if you watch down here in the bottom, it says 119%. Watch that number change as I pull it over. So it's telling me I'm now 249% speed we go faster and faster. You can see it gets up to about, uh, well, it's about a thousand somewhere, but but I lost sight of it. Uh, speed ramping in DaVinci can be uh, a little bit tedious because you have to constantly adjust the clip so you can see what you're doing. But let's go ahead and bring this up to about 4,000%. And let's play it and see what it looks like. That's probably about right, maybe a little too fast. So I'm gonna click this little button here again and drag it back out. I think I can do the other side as well. Uh, no, the other side does not work. So just the right side. All right, so let's take a look again. All right, so the reason they call it a speed ramp is because we don't want to go immediately to 4,000% speed. It looks very jerky, slow, then fast and slow. So now we have to put a ramp on it. And in order to do that, we have to now open up a sec second panel called Retime Curve. So here's our Retime Curve. 
Once again, it's a tedious process. Let's bring this audio clip down here and, and adjust this a little bit, make some more room because this opens up a lot of space. Now, so down here, it looks a little confusing, but I'll talk you through it. There's actually two lines here. Da Vinci sometimes just decides to open up different things. Uh, over here on the left where it says retime speed, you click that little downward arrow and you can see I've got two checkboxes here. One says retime speed, one says retime frame. I'm going to go ahead and just turn off retime frame to get rid of that extra line there. So it looks much more simple now. Uh, but I've lost my controls when I did that, and that should not happen, but it did. So I'm going to click on the line, and you see there's these little two white dots. So we've got a line here that goes straight up and then comes straight back down. And what this is an indicator of, it's a very linear graph of what my speed is doing. It's moving slow, then fast, then slow again. So in order to smooth that out, we're going to click on one of these dots. There's no way to do this uh, automatically. And then up here, there's two little boxes. One has a straight line, which is already highlighted. And then the other one has a slight curve to it. If you click that, you'll see it changes and makes this a curve instead of a straight line. Now I have to come over to the other side, click that one, and do the same thing. Unfortunately, you can't select and do both of them at the same time. So let's take a look and see what that does for us now. So it did smooth it out, but it's not as smooth as the other way that we did it with the speed ramper plug-in. But here's what we can do. We can click on the little white dot and then grab one of these little, there's two dots that come up, little curve handles. If you hold those, click hold down and drag, you can see you can drag that out. There's a limit to what you can do. Uh, I like to drag it out until the, the right dot is about halfway through. Now I'm going to drag this one smooth that one out so that's as smooth as i can get it but here's a bonus tip for you if you click it again and hold down command or control and click on the outside button you can drag the one side independently of the other so i'm going to click that hold down control or command drag that out and so now we're seeing about the limits of how we are able to speed ramp and there we go. So that's basically the completed product. Looks really good. Uh, once you get good at it and you're used to doing this, it takes two or three minutes. The speed ramper plug-in, you saw me do it at the beginning, takes about 15 to 20 seconds. Um, so if you're interested in that, once again, the uh, comments below will give you a link to the speed ramper website. It is not cheap, but the time saving is unbelievable and it does all this curving for you automatically and it's a better curve. But anyhow, that's how you speed ramp. Once again, when I get done here, this these panels being open take up a lot of space on your timeline. So you right click and unclick retime curve and then right click and unclick retime frame. And we end up with uh, a clip that looks very good and very normal. And that, my friends, is how you speed ramp with DaVinci Resolve. I hope this has helped. And uh, leave uh, questions down below in the comments, and I'll see if I can get to them.